hello in this video we are going to install and configure DHCP service rule and create high availability DHCP failover in Windows Server 2012 R2 the dynamic host configuration protocol DHCP is one of the most commonly implemented network services in today's network environments also it's a critical component in network infrastructure it's responsible for assigning or distributes the IP configuration setting to the network client computer automatically. In other words, when a client computer is configured to obtain the IP addresses automatically, it's a DHCP server that assigns the IP address to the computer. Before starting, we need to ensure that the server has a static IP address assigned. From Server Manager, go to Manage and click Add Rule and Features. Next, select Rule Based or Features Based Installation. Next, Next, select the DHCP Server checkbox. Click Add Features to add required features and tools for the DHCP. Next, Next, Next. Select Restart the destination server automatically if required. Yes. Install. Close. The DHCB installed. Go to Notification. As you see, configuration required for DHCB. Press Complete DHCB configuration. Next. In the authorization page, select a domain user account that has permission to create object in the net services container in active directory simply use administrator account and click commit on summary page press close to start configuring the dhcb scopes click tools and then select dhcb right click on the dhcb ib version 4 and select New scope. Next. Name and description. Use to identify the scope. The name is mandatory. The description is optional. Enter your scope name. Scope 1. Next. IP address range. This is the starting pool of IP address that are available for lease. Enter the IP range and subnet that will be managed by your server. Next. Exclusions. It's a list of single or range of addresses that belong to the IP address pool, but that will not be distributed or offered for lease usually because they have been manually assigned to servers or network printer in the network. Add and press next. Lease duration. This is the amount of time for which clients are allowed to use the IP addresses without renewal I will keep it 8 days next select if you want to configure the DNS default gateway and WANs select yes and press next add the default gateway router next add DNS next add WANs I will leave this point out because I don't have one server. We nearly finished and now you can decide if you want to start the scope now or later. Select yes to activate. Next. Finish. As you see the scope created with all configuration, router and DNS. And now we will create high availability DHCB fillover. Let's go.